Hey everyone, welcome back to Magdalene's Craft. This is going to be a timeless pick a card reading on what do you need to hear right now. For pile number one, you guys are going to be the evil eye candle for pile one. Pile two, you guys are going to be the Medusa candle. So the Medusa candle for pile number two. And for pile number three, you guys are going to be the evil eye hand candle. So the evil eye hand candle for pile number three. Again, this is pile one, this is pile two, and this is pile three. So go ahead and choose which candle, which pile you feel most intuitively drawn to. And we are going to go ahead and get into your timeless reading about what do you need to hear right now. Welcome, pile number one. If you chose the evil eye candle, this is going to be your timeless reading on what do you need to hear right now. So I'm noticing with the king card and the hero heroine, I feel like someone's coming to your rescue, pile one. I feel like someone is about to come to your rescue or about to help you. Um, I feel like there's two people trying to help you or two people trying to provide you with something or two people, I don't know, two people are trying to do like the same thing for you, but one of them is slacking or they're not like doing their job or they're not doing something properly or um, I don't know, something about it's like just not beneficial to you. But I feel like there's this other person's coming in, um, kind of like a knight in uh, shining armor, okay? Now this doesn't have to be a love reading and so far I'm not even sure if it is or not yet, but I, I feel like this has to do with something financial or something to do with business or something to do with work or a side hustle or something. Um, I feel like someone's coming in to help you, to save you, um, to give you um, good quality work or to help you really good or something like that. I don't know. But I feel like there's someone coming in um, that tries to benefit you. This is this is kind of like a boss, a coworker, or um, someone that you know that, I don't know. But like this is someone here that has something to do with work, finances, or some kind of side hustle here. And this is someone who benefits those from them being in charge. So this is like a good boss, a good manager, a good CEO, um, a good coworker, a good friend, a good helper, something like that. Okay, this person knows how to get the job done or they know um, like they have like good quality uh, work or something like that. Um, but I'm seeing two people trying to help you with the same thing, but this king is the one that's going to help you the most, okay? Or give you um, better work, something like that, okay? We also have the Hermit card. This could be you. You could be someone who is in solitude. You could be, I'm also seeing like an artist, like some of you may be an artist or a creator or creative with something or you work on projects. Um, it's kind of just making me think of someone who's just kind of alone with, their artwork or their projects or something like that or maybe you guys are just very introverted or you're in hermit mode at this time it talks about serving personal creativity so some of you are just focused on creativity and not really like going out or whatever here okay um so I feel like because you're very focused on creating something or you're very focused on work, like you don't have time for games, you don't have time for poor work ethic or poor helpers or uh, poor business people, um, something here, okay? Because there's something you guys are working on by yourself or alone um, and sometimes you may need help from certain people. And maybe you've been getting help from two different people, but only one of them is like coming through with like good quality work or good quality products or something. Um, I feel like this is so when you're really going to appreciate their work or appreciate their products or appreciate their help or something like that, or just being there for you, um, helping you with something, providing you with something. 
Um, this is someone who you're definitely going to appreciate. We have awakening and victory. I think the other person is mad, okay? The other person that's been helping you, that's been slacking or not really working or not really providing you with a good service or something, this person is getting upset and mad because they know that there there's like some sort of business competition or competition when it comes to helping you or providing you a service or something, they're realizing that their service sucks or their help sucks or their product sucks or, you know, something here, their work ethic sucks. <laughs> like, and this person is infuriated. They're in flames. They're hot headed because they know that the other person that's helping you or working for you or working with you is doing a better job than them. Uh, for some of you, this may have to do with um, entertainment, like a TV show or something, or um, like editing, publishing videos. Um, this could have something to do with baking, cooking, a restaurant, um, something to do with food. Um, for others of you, this may have something, again, to do with some sort of business here. I'm seeing food again. Um, for someone very specific, this may have something to do with something space related or something to do with our solar system or a galaxy or something space related or planets or so, I don't know. That's very, um, <laughs> that's very specific and kind of sidetracking me. But anyways, and for some of you, this has to do with um, a newspaper, a magazine, um, for others of you, it says take your paper route in a new direction. So if you guys were paying someone for a service or paying for someone to help you with something, um, they're pissed because you are now, you're like getting services from someone else, okay? Uh, this could even be as simple as like you going to a restaurant. It's like, for example, say, say uh, two restaurants are like competing with each other. Um, and you stop going to one restaurant, you start going to the, a different one because the other one you were going to just wasn't cutting it. The quality of food was awful. The service was awful. So you found a new restaurant spot to start eating lunch at. Or if this has something to do with, um, for an example, if you go to like a hairstylist or a nail tech, um, this could be two nail techs or two hairstylists competing with each other or something like that. Like this is someone who pro provides a service for you. Um, two different people and they're mad because um, you're taking your money elsewhere or if you're okay for some of you you're the one providing a service okay I'm just gonna use tarot reading as an example say you're a tarot reader and there's another tarot reader providing a service and you have a client coming to you who cut out their old tarot reader or something like that and the other tarot readers like com being competitive with you or they're hot-headed or they're pissed off or they're jealous or something like that um, or if you're a hairstylist this is another hairstylist pissed because their clients come into you um, this could go different ways so either you're the one paying for the service or you're the one providing a service and someone's choosing to go to you instead of the other person sorry this reading is like all over the place I hope I'm making sense I hope you guys are following following up with me with where this is going you also have Athena wisdom and knowledge and goddess um, yeah, you're definitely either providing a service for a client that just left someone else or or either you are purchasing a service from someone and the other person used to purchase services from is like upset here um, because somebody, their work ethic is better, their service is better, their products is better, um, just something like that here. For some of you, you may have felt like one of these people whether it's the person competing with you or this is the old person you used to get services from, they could be evil eyeing you. They could be feeling very ruthless. Um, for some of you, this person could have went to jail or prison or they may be about to go to jail or prison. Um, for others of you, this person can get very violent or ruthless or hot headed or something like that. Um, this person's evil eyeing you. Um, because you ended up getting your services from someone else or this person's evil eye on you because their client has went to you. We also have the weaver, which is rediscovery and transition. So again, you transitioned getting a service from 
from an old person to a new person or a client transitioned um, by discovering you and leaving you know whoever behind that they were getting services from we have accepting help and guidance yeah there's i'm telling you for a lot of you this is a sign that you're about to meet someone that's going to provide you with an excellent service excellent work ethic product whatever this is um, they know that you need help they know that you need guidance and they would be more than happy to help you and to for it's like this, whoever this king is it's like he cares about he wants people to benefit off of him and his work or his services or his products. He wants people to feel like they're benefiting off of him. Um, so it makes him happy when the customer or the client is happy. So whoever this is, they're definitely going to be doing a good job for whatever service or product you're seeking out. Now, for others of you, um, this is a client or a customer coming to you. You know, they were looking for help. They're looking for guidance and they feel like they can benefit the most from your work ethic or your service or your product or something like that. OK, and they just they they feel like it's faded that they've met you or you're going to feel like it's faded that you met this person. So just take it how it may resonate. I feel like this reading is kind of all over the place because I'm seeing it from uh, two different stories, two different perspectives, whether it's the customer or client's perspectives or whether it's like the person providing the service perspectives. Um, again, I do feel like this person's evil eyeing you, okay? For some of you, it may have something to do with clothes or fashion or a shop or something. Um, for some of you, it may have something to do with school, like some sort of schooling. So if you were getting lessons or, so for an example, if you were getting taught something and you felt like your teacher just wasn't like, teaching good enough or you weren't really benefiting from the, the classes um, you may find a new teacher a new mentor or something like that um, for others of you if, if you're looking for a teacher or a mentor I feel like you're about to find the most perfect one here someone's last name could be Stuart or their first name could be Stuart I'm seeing Stuart Michael uh, Musk Martha Bloomberg Athena Vesna King Kingston yeah, some of you, you're about to uh, meet someone that is very, very wise and they have a lot to offer as far as like teaching you something or providing you with lessons or something along those lines. And I feel like you're going to be learning a lot from whoever this is or either this person provides a, a certain product or skill set because they've been doing it for a very long time. And this other person is pissed that you're going to someone different or someone new um, or this is you transitioning who you go to. Um, yeah, because you're going to someone new or if you're the person providing the service, this person's pissed because someone's going to you. Sorry, this is getting me so tongue tied. I apologize, pal one. I feel like I keep tripping on my words and getting tongue tied because I'm trying to explain this from both perspectives here. Okay. For some of you, it may have something to do with sewing, knitting, gardening, something to do with scissors or, um, thread. Uh, for others of you, this may have something to do with uh, piercings, tattoos, lip injections, um, inject like face injections or something like that. For others of you, it may have something to do with something artistic, um, like a painting or just anything like that, something creative. Um, for others of you, it may have something to do with your actual education. Again, I'm seeing something to do with food as well. Yeah, you're taking your paper route, even though this means, I'm pretty sure they're talking about newspaper, but I feel like you're taking your literal paper, like you're, you're taking your money elsewhere and it's got this person pissed off or either you're someone who provides a service and someone's client or customer is taking their money elsewhere and they're taking it to you. So um, definitely different messages for different people here. Just be careful because this person is like hot headed, tempered. And for some of you, this person has been to jail or prison before um, or they get very competitive, very jealous, very hot headed when they don't like get their way in business. Um, so that is everything I think I see for this pile. Yeah, some of you woke up and realized that you're not being provided with the proper lessons or education or product or services and you're wanting to go elsewhere or find someone different here and you will and this person is going to make sure that you feel like you benefit off of something that they're providing for you 
So that is everything I'm seeing for Paul one. I love you guys so much. And we're going to move on to Paul number two. Welcome, Paul number two. If you chose the Medusa candle, this is going to be your timeless reading. Um, what do you need to hear right now? So Paul number two, I'm hearing something about treading on waters. I don't know if you're treading on waters or someone in your life is treading on waters, which just means that there's some sort of situation where a situation is not progressing um, or someone's continuing to do the same things over and over, even though things are not progressing. So if someone is in a situation that they're just not satisfied in, whether this is you or someone that is in your life or in your energy, there's someone here that's continuing to do the same thing over and over and over, but they're not progressing and they're not satisfied. Um, this could have something to do with a Leo. You could be a Leo or this could be a Leo in your life. Yeah, there's something um, something to do with a Leo that is stagnant or still. Um, or for some of you, there's a, a Leo lurking or watching you. Or there's a Leo hoping that you won't progress or that you'll be stagnant. Yeah, I'm hearing muddy waters or something. For some of you, there's a Leo that's hoping that you'll be stagnant or stuck. Um, this could be someone that's hoping that you will not progress your status or your work performance or something to do with your job. Um, for others of you, it has something, they're hoping that your love life will not progress or perform well. Um, for someone very specific, um, someone drinks, okay? I don't know if this is you drinking. If you're the one drinking, it's keeping you stuck and stagnant. If it's not you, there could be someone else in your life um, this per there could be this person that's wishing um, that you'll be stagnant and stuck. Okay, they could be the one that's drinking or getting drunk. Um, something about being unafraid to release cords. Okay, so some of you could have cut cords with this person. Or some of you could have cut cords from something, someone, or some sort of situation that was keeping you stuck and stagnant. I'm also seeing where a lot of people um, look up to you. I don't know, this could be at work or just in your life in general, but a lot of people actually look up to you because you're this pioneer. Okay, you have a passion for doing something that you love. You have a passion for creating. Um, a lot of you are very unique and you do things that have not been done before, or maybe it's the way you look or how you work or something. Um, but a lot of people look up to you here. So you guys are very, very skilled in a lot of different things. There's someone, there's someone in your energy that's hoping that you will not further your education or your learning, or you will not further or progress in your work, your job, your hobbies, your business. Some of you have a lot of different skills or a lot of different talents, or some of you may be considered like a jack of all trades or something like that. Again, you guys are very, very artistic, very creative. Um, you're also very professional about being an artist. Um, you guys have been following your bliss, following your passions, following your creativity. Um, something's significant with peacock feathers as well. We also have amplified awareness and priestess of the gift to serve. So you guys have some sort of a job or something you go to school for that makes it to where you have to be of service to people. Um, you have, I feel like whatever you do for your job, you have to be very aware, very intuitive and something about you being a service to people as well as being artsy or creative or talented or educated in something. We also have the twins. Um, some of you need to protect yourself from either a Gemini or a Leo, or I could be speaking to a Gemini or a Leo, but there's something going on with a Gemini and a Leo in this reading. Um, I don't know if that's you guys' signs or someone that's in your life and your energy, but you need to protect yourself from this person or people, um, or maybe you already have. Yeah, I'm seeing where some of you have already cut this person or these people out of your life uh, because they were trying to control your life. Um, for some of you, they're trying to siphon your finances, use you for money, um, benefit off of you in a financial way. Uh, they're dealing with some sort of reversal in their money here. So that could be why they're hoping that you'll be stuck and stagnant with whatever it is you're doing in life because they're 
losing some sort of fortune or money. We also have the adventurer. You're very uh, responsible. You're a very responsible person. You could be more responsible than whoever this Gemini or this Leo is. Um, something about you traveling could have this Leo or Gemini pissed off. Something about you traveling or going somewhere or going to some sort of uh, on an adventure or I don't know, something about traveling or moving around or going somewhere. Uh, they had some, for some of you, they had some sort of expectations that they would travel with you or some sort of expectations that they would like move with you, travel with you, something here. Um, but they're, I'm hearing like their expectations was let down or something. So they're like explosive about this or mad about this for some of you. Um, for some of you, it may have something to do with like an airplane. Maybe some of you were supposed to fly on an airplane with this person at one point. Um, there's also something extremely innovative about you. Like, I'm serious. There's a lot of people who look up to you because of how innovative and how creative you are. We also have Scribe. Okay, there's someone here. I feel like it's this Gemini or this Leo, but you have a Gemini or Leo that has been plagiarizing your work or taking your work, stealing your work, um, something here. Or either they've been altering facts about you at your work or altering facts about something to do with your money or your work. Okay, for, okay, I'm, okay thank you, Spirit. I'm also hearing that this person um, plagiarizes your work but they like tweak it or alter it to where it's not like a hundred a hundred percent word for word or whatever you know i don't know if this person is plagiarizing your artwork or something you um, film or write or draw something so um but they they take your blueprint of something or take something from you word for word but then they tweak it or they alter it to where it kind of seems like it's just coming from them. And they do this because a lot of people like you or a lot of people look up to you here. Or you're just very creative, very innovative. Um, so they feel the need to plagiarize your work here. Someone's name could be Angela, Emma, Ariana, Aria. Lelita, Lolita. King, Kingston, which was also in Paul 1. Um, whoever this is, they're hoping that you're not going to be able to save money. Or they want you to be like penny pinching here. They want you to penny pinch or not be able to save money. Or for you to make as little money as possible. Um, they want you to go into debt. So for some of you, this person wants you to be penny pinching and going into debt because of the fact that they cannot uh, control some sort of financial situation with you or control your money or can control some sort of money situation. Or this person had high expectations about something to do with money or traveling with you. So since their expectations was not met, um, or for some of you, this person I'm hearing maybe they're stuck or stagnant because they keep plagiarizing or copying or something like that. I don't know. But whoever this is, they want you in, in debt because they're not able to benefit off of you in some type of way. Um, or they're not able to plagiarize or copy you anymore or something. So they're wanting you to penny pinch and they're wanting you in debt here. Okay, It's almost like they want to punish you because they can't copy off of you anymore or they cannot benefit off of you financially. Um, for someone here, this person is very like greedy or something to do maybe materialistic or selfish with money or something like that here. Uh, for, some, for some of you, something's going on with um, deportation, okay? Someone here was trying to deport you, which is really weird because at it was some pick a card I did a while back and I was telling one of the piles like you're you're safe if you're an immigrant I'm seeing that you're safe right 
Well, I'm getting that message again because there is someone trying to get someone in my collective deported. And it's not going to work. Like this person is jealous of you or you they didn't get to benefit off of you or you didn't, um, their expectations of you is let down or something weird like that. So they're trying to get you uh, deported here or you having to like relocate or move. It's like this is someone who wants you stuck and stagnant and then they want some sort of immediate change to happen in your life that would put you into debt. Um, or put you in a situation where there's not a lot of money or resources. Um, for some of you, this is someone who tried to give you their opinion or unsolicited opinion. Um, you could be some sort of hustler or this person is a hustler. For an example, if you are, um, if you're monetizing your talents, your gifts or something you're educated in, this person is saying that you're just like hustling until you find something new or find something different. It's almost like they're downplaying the passion that you have for whatever you're doing. And it's like they're downplaying it saying that, you know, this is just temporary until you find the next thing or next job or something like that. Um, but it's like they just don't see or realize how passionate you are about whatever it is you're doing or they're just trying to cause, you know, be a B-I-T-C-H and cause some BS here. Um, this person lacks responsibility. Um, they have to either copy or plagiarize other people to benefit financially or this is someone who um, tries to control other people's money or finances or decisions regarding money. And whoever this is, they're pissed that you know this about them. They're pissed off that they know that you know that they've been plagiarizing or copying or that they've been trying to benefit off of you financially or that they've been wishing you uh, bad pretty much when it comes to your business or something you're doing. Because again, you guys are very talented, creative, innovative here. And so many people look up to you. So they want you stuck and stagnant. And this could be someone who's jealous or they're just not like tapped in into their own talents or their own wisdom here. They're not tapped into their own gifts like you are. Like you're over here having to be of service to a lot of people and this person is like trying to siphon off of that or copy that or plagiarize that or benefit off of that in some type of way. And it's like when this person doesn't get their way they, res they resort to like wishing you badly or wishing you in debt, wishing that you have no money, no resources, um, that you're not passionate about your job. For a lot of you, they want you deported or for you to have to move or relocate. Um, but you have a lot of brilliant creative ideas here that I feel like is going to take you very far. Um, for some of you, you are going to be able to have the money to travel or to go places um, if that's something you've been wanting to do. Um, or some of you have been wanting to relocate or move and you're going to have the money for that because there's something you're doing that's very different, unique, innovative that a lot of people like or look up to. So that's everything I'm seeing for pile number two. I hope you guys enjoyed. And we are going to go ahead and move on to pile number three. Welcome, pile number three. If you chose the blue evil eye hand candle, this is going to be your timeless reading on what do you need to hear right now. Um, pile number three, you could be someone who is either writing a book or making a video, movie, something, or you could be a content creator. But it's like you're discussing things that are bad. Okay. Um, I feel like you're bringing up, I don't know, you could be talking about anything that's technically bad in life, okay? You could be talking about um, bad things that are going on in the world or bad things going on in our food industry or bad things going on politically. Uh, for some of you, you could be talking about like bad things that go on in people's homes, marriages, families. Um, I, I feel like you are doing something where you have to discuss the ugly side of humanity. Um, and you could be writing a book about this. You could be featured in a magazine about, about this, in a video, a commercial, you know, I don't know. You could be a content creator, a blogger, something here, an influencer. But you're discussing bad things 
but I feel like you're getting like paid for this. Like this is your job or this is like a side business, a side hustle or something. You're just like a side project or something. But I do see where you're going to get paid for discussing like the about the ugly side of humanity or the earth or something here. Uh, for some of you, you could be talking about or I'm hearing our farmlands or agriculture. I don't know. I'm getting all kinds of weird messages. Um, you're making me think. Okay, now we also have creative solutions. I'm kind of thinking this is making me think of um, the Venus Project. Maybe you guys are trying to think of solutions that's going to better the planet or better humanity or bring more peace to people or healing to people. It's like you're trying to find creative solutions to bring more good and weed out the bad. Um, we have endings and beginnings. Yeah. You're trying to put it into something bad going on in the world or with people or with our food. I'm also hearing our water or ecosystem um, or toxic patterns, toxic people. Like you're trying to put it into these things so that we can begin anew, um, so that we can be better healed. You're, whatever this is, is something you're going to, not only is it going to grow your money, but this is something that's going to spiritually grow you. You're going to, I feel like this is going to be a fruitful type of project or career, hobby, job, whatever this is. It's going to be fruitful and abundant for you, but it's also going to be very spiritually rewarding as well as you being able to spiritually grow because you're, um, you're, it's almost like you pal threes are putting an end to bad things, toxic things, hurtful, harmful things. Yeah, you guys are healers, or you're meant to heal. We also have monk, nun, healer, and prince. Some I'm also picking up he heavy on my divine masculines in this pile. I feel like I'm talking to a divine masculine, but you don't have to be. Um, other, for others of you, I'm hearing you are manifesting your divine masculine into your life. So I feel like I'm either speaking to a divine masculine or if you're a female watching, I feel like you're about to manifest a divine masculine who is very healed. Okay, maybe you guys are used to dealing with people that are toxic in love. But you're about to manifest a very healed divine masculine in your life. Okay, this could be someone that wants to bring you flowers. Or they could be, you know, romantic or hopeless romantic, something like that. Very old school um, I like whoever's energy this is. Um, this is either you, Divine Masculine, or this is a Divine Masculine coming into your life. Uh, whatever this is that you're doing, though, it's something you're going to have to self selflessly devote yourself to. Um, you guys are about to have to be completely dedicated to whatever this is, this project, this hobby, this mindset, this perspective. Whatever you're doing to heal this planet or heal the people on it. You are going to have to be selflessly devoted to this and dedicated to this, okay? Because a lot of you have some sort of vision. Now, if you don't have this vision yet, I feel like this is going to come at some point in your future. So some of you may be watching this and you already have a vision, you already have a job, um, you already have, you're already doing things that are helping or healing, but for others of you, this vision hasn't came yet. So when this, for others of you, this vision is going to come to you and it's going to help a lot of people. And I keep hearing, you're going to be helping people, plants, insects, animals, the earth, like everything. Um, or one of these things. I just feel like you bring about a huge healing energy to you. Where you're trying to come up with more solutions so people can have a more peaceful life. I keep thinking of Venus Project here, which I don't hear about that much anymore since uh, the man died. But... Um, we also have indulgence. Yeah, you're going to be sharing your vision with the world. You're going to be telling other people, hey, we all need to demand these things. We all need to demand peace. We all need to demand uh, better, healthier foods that don't have toxics and chemicals in it and crap like that. 
or you know so we also have the fertilizing card like maybe there's something out there that we're spraying on our crops and which i'm sure we are which is why we wash our fruits and vegetables right so i don't know it could be anything i'm also hearing chemtrails like i don't know <laughs> like you guys are pretty much going to be fighting for humanity or for the planet and you're going to be sharing your vision with other people i feel like other people are going to resonate with your vision as well or try to demand the same things you're demanding. I don't know, it's giving me like kind of a protest type of energy. Um, for others of you, this could have something to do with spirituality or religion. So if it's not something to do with the earth or animals, plants, insects, stuff like that, if it's not something like that, or if it's not some sort of therapy thing as far as like helping and healing people from toxic families, relationships, etc. Um, if it's not those things, it could definitely be where you guys are going to be like spiritually healing a lot of people. Someone here that's watching this feels like because they're trans or because they cross dress or because they're gay or lesbian or bisexual, whatever, they, they feel like maybe they won't be taken seriously, but you will. Okay, I don't know who I'm speaking to, but if you're a part of LGBTQ... Or if you want to be like trans or something like that or cross-dressing, I'm hearing you will be taken seriously. Because there's someone here that's a part of that type of community or lifestyle that feels like they will not be taken seriously. Um, but I'm hearing please don't let that stop you just because of either your sexual preference or how you whoever you prefer to be, you know, whether you want to be a man or a woman, it doesn't matter. Please do not let that stop you. You can still do whatever this is like there's someone here that's kind of scared to show themselves or show who they really are because they don't want to be judged or they are scared people are not going to take them seriously um but i'm hearing you will be okay please don't let that stop you um for someone else that's watching this you're allowing your age to stop you so if it's not your lifestyle i'm seeing where someone feels like they're too old to do these things but you're not okay with the estee lauder card you're not too old to write a book you're not too old to be a content creator you're not too old to protest or to change the world or to heal the world you're not too old to come up with solutions in fact if anything a lot of people who are well within their age come out come out with amazing solutions so i don't know it's like somebody's like lifestyle or their age or just who they are is like it's almost like it's stopping some of you from going after this or doing this and you don't need to allow that to be a blockage for you um some of you may even need to cut people off that don't have the same vision as you or don't support your vision we also have uh, fertilizing. It says, food is not the only thing that nourishes you, dear one. Be mindful of what you feed your soul. So some of you are going to be trying to educate, promote, protest when it comes to um, our agriculture, our food, the planet. Others of you, it has to do with something that you're feeding your soul. Like Again, like some of you are going to be help healing people who talk negatively to themselves or don't believe in themselves. You're going to help those people. You're going to heal those people. You're going to heal those people that have been dealing with childhood wounds or toxic family patterns here. We have new projects and learning. So yeah, you are going to be, whatever you've learned in your life or whatever you're learning now, I feel like you guys are about to share with the world. Something about the things you learn or the things you're educated in, you need to put that in some sort of project. You need to make a project out of something that you know about or something that you're learning about. Um, we also have hiding your true self projection. So yeah, like I said earlier, some of you are hiding yourself. You're hiding yourself because of either your lifestyle or the way you look or your age or something. And you don't need to be doing that. Do not hide yourself. You have so much to offer to humanity or this planet. We have achievement and downfall. Some of you are scared to start because you're scared you're going to fail or it's not going to go well or people are going to laugh at you or people are not going to take you serious or some of you are scared that of what people are going to say to you. You know, I don't know. Like, don't be a scared of, don't be scared of failing. Don't be scared of falling. You should be scared of never trying to begin with. That should be what people are, should be most scared of is never even trying. Because, I mean, a lot of people fail and a lot of people fall. But you, at least you can always say that you tried. And you never know where this can take you. And for a lot of you, this is going to take you and a lot of people in the right direction here. 
you're going to cause a lot of people to end things in their life so that they can begin a new, begin a better life for themselves. So you guys need to stop um, doubting yourself or letting anxiety or fear get in the way or you being self-conscious about something. Stop allowing that to block you because you have so much healing energy, so much education, so much passion for whatever this is that you want to create um, some sort of solution for. Again, it could be have something to do with spirituality. It could have something to do with um, our planet, you know, our food system. Or I'm also here in our medical system, our churches, um, plants, insects, animals, humanity in general, um, mental health. Some of you are going to be helping people come up with solutions uh, for mental health as well. Or just to create more peace in their life. I don't know. This is a beautiful reading, but you definitely need to start some sort of project if you're not already doing this. If you are already doing this, you're on the right track. Um, the, again, this is something that's going to create abundance and money for you, but it's also going to create something that's even more valuable, which is your own spiritual growth. And this is going to be spiritually fulfilling for you. Okay, Maybe in the past you've had jobs or projects where you didn't feel very fulfilled emotionally or spiritually, but this is going to fulfill you. Okay, So that's everything I'm seeing for Pile 3. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you on my next pick a card or my next collective message or live stream, whatever it is I do here on Magdalene's Craft. I'll see you in the next one. Love you guys. Bye.